One cold autumnal evening, a couple were walking their dog through Bradley Woods, a route they walked most days. As they were halfway through their journey, they began to hear the sound of a woman crying, and they called out so that they could help. A little further up the path appeared a black hooded figure of a woman, slender and small. The crying suddenly stopped and the hooded figure looked up at the couple, revealing her mournful, pale, tear-soaked face. Have you seen my baby? this woman asked. The couple began to feel unexplainably sorrowful, which reduced both to tears. The hooded woman then turned and disappeared back into the woods. The couple, who were local to the area, knew that they had just had an encounter with the Black Lady of Bradley Woods. The local folklore of the Black Lady of Bradley Woods can trace its origins back to the Wars of the Roses or, in some other versions, the Barons' War. A young woodsman and his wife lived with their baby son in a cottage in Bradley Woods. Eventually, the woodsman left his family to fight in the war, leaving his wife to bring up the baby alone. After many months, there was no news of the woodsman. Every day, she held her child and walked to the edge of the woods, waiting for the sight of her husband coming home from the wars. Until one day, the enemy army crossed the Humber and marched through the area on its way to attack Lincoln. As she was leaving her cottage, the woman was set upon by three horsemen who brutally raped her before snatching the baby boy and riding off laughing into the woods. Heartbroken and humiliated, she wandered the woods searching in vain for her child and husband. After her death, people began to see her wandering the woods, carrying on her never-ending search. Over the hundred years since, there has been numerous sightings of the Black Lady. One encounter in the 1920s left a family so terrified that they never entered the woods again. Their account says that they were in the woods picking wildflowers to place on their own child's grave, which was in nearby Grimsby. The mother of the family suddenly became overwhelmed with grief and fell to her knees, sobbing until her eyes were red and swollen. The father tried to lift her back onto her feet and console her, but she refused any aid offered. Their child, who was five years old, began to point at a black hooded lady who had suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The boy said that the other lady had lost her child and had asked if they had any information. The father, still trying to calm his wife, said that they had none. The hooded woman began wailing and the boy ran over to her and grabbed her hand. The two began to walk away and the father gave chase, shouting at the hooded woman to leave his child alone. The hooded woman let go of the boy's hand and disappeared right before their eyes. With the disappearance of the woman, the mother suddenly came back to her senses and the family fled the woods, never to return. In the 1940s, many farm labourers reported seeing a black hooded figure standing at the edge of the woods, staring aimlessly over the fields as if waiting for someone. Whenever anyone tried to get close to this figure, it would disappear into the woods and the sound of a woman crying would be heard. Sightings of the Black Lady of Bradley Woods continue to this day with many cases reported being by drivers who see a black shadow at the side of the road as they drive through the woods. Eyewitnesses have described her as being young and pretty, 
around five foot six inches tall, dressed in a flowing black cloak and a black hood. According to the legend, she has never harmed anyone and has only ever proved to be a pitiful, if unnerving, sight. One theory that has been put forward is that the black lady is the ghost of a nun. She appears dressed in black and at nearby Nunsthorpe, now an area of Grimsby, where a convict existed until the Reformation. This theory gives no reason as to why the black lady should have moved from Nunsthorpe to Bradley, which is two miles away. Also, though she may be dressed in black, few, if any, eyewitnesses have ever described her appearance as matching that of a nun. Another possible explanation is that she is a spinster who at one time lived a life of isolation in her cottage in the woods, far enough away from the village. If village children had come across a woman living on her own in the woods, who became angry when her privacy and solitude was breached, then imaginary tales of witchcraft could have exaggerated the legend but neither of these theories ties in with the folklore. Legend has it that her ghost still wanders the woods today, and if anyone is brave enough to enter them on New Year's Day and shout, Black Lady, Black Lady, I've stolen your baby, three times, the woman shall appear and confront them. <laughs>